Hello YouTube, your car one here. I just thought I'd do this quick video. Um, for those who are wondering, yes, I'm getting ready to go to bed for the night, but I just thought I'd film this video, make it quick. The final Janet flight, I got the official hour of when it will take off from Newark Heath Airport to, to John Glenn International Airport. Um, the plane is scheduled um, for Thursday night at approximately 10.30 um, to depart. Uh, this is all air traffic um, dependent. Um, the Ohio Central NHL will work its final, um, final Thursday, this Thursday, um, the Ohio Central NHL will be, um, and if you're out and about Thursday night, um, around the North Heath Airport area, um, and you're wanting to find out, or if you're wanting to film the Janet flight, um, there's better locations for you to film it. Um, seeing that I was incorrect on my past video, actually the Janet flight will come on runway 27, not runway 9 -er, as it would say in the aircraft world. It'll be starting, it'll Taxi down the taxiway approximately 10.30 to depart. Um, the aircraft is a twin Bonanza aircraft made by Beach. The aircraft is scheduled to depart North Heath Airport at about 11 o'clock Eastern Time. As that is going on, the Ohio Central NHL will be working the branch that evening. Now, if you're really interested in finding out, um, and you are in Western Lincoln County, pay attention. Approximately, approximately be ten minutes after takeoff, it will fly over the Patasola, Ohio area, heading towards the John Glenn International Airport. The flight is approximately less than. 30 minutes from Newark Heath Airport to the airport in Columbus. Um, and there will be a Schweizer, which is not related to the Janet flight, but there will be a Schweizer helicopter coming out of Lancaster at the same time. Um, that will be going to Lockbourne. But if you're out and about on Thursday night, this Thursday, matter of fact, at this time approximately, um, and you're out rail fanning late at night. Um, don't forget to look to your east. Um, if you're in the Heath, Ohio area. Um, especially for the Janet flight. The Janet flight, will, like I said, this is the timestamps. It will take off at 1030 that night. It will taxi down the taxiway from the parking the staging area at the Newark Heath Airport. Um, the aircraft will then go from there, from Newark Heath Airport. It will go towards the 27, runway 27 marker. And then they will get clearance um, from the Indianapolis Center to take off. It usually takes about 10 minutes. They got to do their safety check, pre-flight check, and everything before they take off. So, flaps and everything, they got to check. And, um, then they'll make a beeline to the west on runway 9, which is facing the North Heath Port Authority. Where it will then take off. And if you're out in the Keller Drive, or if you're around... Thornwood Drive area that evening, which is Thursday at night. Um, pay attention to traffic. Obey all traffic laws while you're filming. Do not speed. Uh, do not go down to the airport and camp out because while this aircraft's taking off, you could be arrested. But if you want to watch the Janet flight take off that evening, like one of my subscribers uh, who lives in South 
far south, western Ohio, said he would come up here that night and stay the night at a hotel. But if you really want to come out and watch the Janet flights, please make sure you're doing it safe. Um, make sure if you're wanting to um, film the aircraft, I would start at Keller Drive in Heath. Do not go down Pike Avenue in Heath because that is closed off to the public, that portion of the road, which used to be open to the public a long time ago. Or you could go over to the Walmart in Heath and park in their parking lot, but make sure, make sure when you're there, do not go in the store because the store is closed. It closes at 11 o'clock at night these days. So... Like I said, if you're interested in watching the Janet flight, um, be there around 10 o'clock that evening and prepare. Get your camera out and get your tripod set up. Um, don't go down the Ashland Chemical Road because um, that is considered trespassing. Or you could park on the side of Irvingwick um, near the crossing. And the walk towards Heath Road, but that's not that that's not that's not safe because you could get hit or ticketed. So don't forget this Thursday evening is the final Janet flight for the year. Uh, going towards Port Columbus International Airport, uh, also known as John Clinton International Airport. Um, if you're wanting to watch the aircraft, um, I do not know if it's going to be listed on flight radar. It could be. I don't know. But step on out if you're in the Heath area and watch the aircraft that night. Um, if you're my subscriber. And more specifically, the Ohio Central NHL will be working the branch also. So, it'll be a double-edged sword. Um, you could go over and park at the, um, at the Indian Mound Mall. Um, I don't know how they feel about folks parking there that late at night, especially if security is going to be out. Or you could park at the Crowder parking, parking lot in Heath and go to the edge and watch the Janet flight take off. Um, here's some good areas you could go um, to film. Walmart's 911 Heath, here Hebron Road in Heath, Ohio. 910 which is the Kroger. You could go to Rural King, um, park in the David Shea house. You can park there and watch it. Or if you're, hell, if you're out and you drink late at night, you could go to Applebee's and film it from there while you're out to eat. Or I'd recommend um, going to Keller Drive, pulling on the side of the road at waste away systems and park there and or around there or go to the railroad crossing on Holly Lane and face the east um or if you're interested and you're in the New York area if you're in the north or west southwest quadrant of New York you could go over and park at the Humane Society. I don't think they would have a problem with you parking in the Humane Society and filming. Um, be there at no later if you're wanting to film the Janet flight, the final one for the year, the final Thursday of one of the year. Um, be there no later than 10 o'clock. So if I was to leave, I would leave here about 9.30 and get up there. Um which I'm not going to film, go up there because i got a doctor's appointment in the morning of. So, if you're interested in watching the final Janet flight, this is your time. Be there, um, be there, be square. Don't forget to like, subscribe, subscribe for more content, and more specifically, watch, watch out that night for the Janet flight. Tower 1, out.